Hi everybody, uh, <clears throat> just a quick update uh, on my Massey Ferguson 35X. In the last couple of days I've just received some parts which I've ordered from Vintage Tractor Parts in Longford, in I think it's County Longford, in uh, Southern Ireland. And I'm really, well I'm happy with what we've got, really happy. So, so far, well, Brand new steering wheel, 17 and a half inch steering wheel, and that I think was about 18 euros on eBay. They're about 55 quid or something. So we've got that, looks well, looks good. Um, and also, this is my old tractometer, it's not good. It's absolutely full of crap inside. And you can see it. If it hadn't gone, if it won't knackered now, it wouldn't be long before it was. So a new one of them. It's in the fruit box. Pretty much exactly the same. Nice job, perfect. Just straight on. Nice and easy. Also, got the bit awkward holding the camera at the same time. New regulator box, and it's one with bullet fittings, just as same as what came off it. Excuse me again. So that's that. <coughs> uh, new uh, diesel filler cap. New steering wheel now. Nice and shiny. Felt washer for my steering box. Uh, steering wheel washer. Which goes on there. Holds that on. Uh, I could have made some of these, but I thought I might as well get the right thing. These are pads that go under the radiator. So the proper thickness. Two of them. And then under here. Get the box in. So, very similar, excuse me, very similar light switch. Although on my old one, that bit there was made out of aluminium or zinc or some kind of monkey metal. So that's that. The proper ignition switch and that's the right one to suit the dynamo type and keep it dynamo on mine I'm just going to keep it just just as it should be that's that new bracket for new silencer and next an oil pressure gauge and that's the next best thing you can get to a Smith's oil pressure gauge because it had a Smith's in it. Uh, looks very similar, just doesn't say Smith's at the bottom or it doesn't say England at the bottom. So that's them. I've done that. And then all them nuts. As you can see, I'm slowly but surely getting my dash ready. Now, I also got these weren't from, they weren't from uh, vintage tractors, but I've got them off eBay and they're just leather washers. And that's what I'm replacing on my throttle lever there. The bit what gives it some friction. So, new, some, one new leather washer for there. So, they were for next and out off eBay then. Uh, and then, what have we got? I've got a brand new silencer in here. Lovely, beautiful silencer. Nice and sparkling new. That come with it. Want the rest of that from Ireland. Uh, 
Oh, while I'm while I'm on, I've got this paint, vapormatic paint, the aerosol, super red. So I've just used that for painting my dash. So, uh, plan now is to start get all the harness back together, strip it from the old electrical items inside one and by one put them back into other and fit them to the dash as i'm going on and uh, see if there's any problems with harness while i'm doing that so all this lot in here all from vintage tractors from ireland delivered 137 euros I think that's pretty pretty good deal that. I think they'll all look nice. And they're uh, back in that dash. So that's the update. I think that's as much as I've got to show you for now. Um, what I might have here. In there is a kit and it's for the hand throttle and that came from India. And I'll be right honest with you, it's the biggest lot of crap I've ever bought in my life. And I think there's only spring what's in there where I can use, the rest of it's crap, absolute crap. So I might be doing that again. And I think that's about it for now. So. See you when we go a bit further. Thanks for that. Bye.